So guys, we finally arrived at the Al-Fanar Masjid and it's beautiful. Again, the spirals. Man, everything about Qatar is actually beautiful. So <clears throat> I've heard that there's a kind of a Islamic center here that we can check out. I'm a Muslim myself, so this is very, very close to my heart. Uh, look at this building, man. It's This mosque is just beautifully designed, really. I mean, what can't money design, right? So here we have the souk is about there. The Doha skyline is about there. Now we're entering the Sheikh Abdullah bin Zayed Mahmoud Islamic Culture Center branch is what it's called. Awesome, awesome, completely awesome. All right, so let's check it out. Now we're work, walking beneath the mosque right now. And then just to give you small little highlights of what you can see here, a uh, lot of cool, a lot of cool stuff. Now here we go, a cultural experience, right? This is where we enter the mosque, I think. I think it's closed, but yeah, it's closed, like I, like I thought. Um, well, <clears throat> doesn't matter, we'll try to find another way. I can just tell that the mosque from the inside is uh, beautiful. There's me. And there is an entrance right here. It's also closed, I think. Yep. It's closed. So, yeah, basically everything here is closed. Now, this is, I think, a library, Al Al Maktaba, yeah. And that's an entrance, gate three. This will also be closed. Oh no, it's not closed. So guys, now we're inside the mosque. This is a, uh, I think this is the experience center for non-Muslims. I mean, I gotta say, the smell here is beautiful. It smells really nice. And here we got some information about the Noble Quran, the previous books, Islamic values, political, economical, social, miracles of the Quran, tree of the prophets, and the environment. Then we got the prophets, and the stories derived from the Quran. <clears throat> and this is women in Islam. Where I'm pretty sure people will be shocked learning how much freedom women actually have. So, <clears throat> there we go. Wow. The, again, the cleanliness of this place is just beautiful. And that's the ladies' section. So, this is another section of the Al Fanar Mosque. If I point the camera upwards, you can see the ceiling here. This is on top. And the architecture is wonderful. Let's look at the details there. So <clears throat> we got allowance from the gentleman to go up to the mosque section where we can check out the mosque itself, the prayer area and stuff. So, man, I gotta say, it just smells nice. It smells really good in here. All right, going inwards here now. Wow, this is an, wow. So this is an outdoor area of the the mosque. You can see the minaret from on top. You know, this looks cool. <laughs> well, I feel privileged being, being here right now. Well, here I am. This is the mosque itself. As you can see, it's the minaret on top. And uh, all I can say is wow, you know, this, this wasn't... Uh, expected to be honest now this is the gents mosque so i don't know if we can open the door we indeed can wow well let me just tell you it smells really great in here we can't go in there right now because obviously i don't have ablution and i haven't taken off my anything here so well what can i say this is beautiful um, let's continue onwards and check the, 
the mask here. Hello, sir. So we can see from the window here, this is how the section for the gents is looking. And of course, this is a very beautiful mosque and this is a ablution area. It's got a bookstore here. You can check this out. We indeed can. These are all books. <laughs> These, I guess, are all books from the Islamic world. So, I don't know what this area is, but it sure looks like, yeah, that's a. Uh, Okay, that's basically the prayer hall. So now we've basically been through the whole masjid. But I'm going to go back here because I want to see, again, ablution area. <clears throat> These gentlemen taking care of things. So I'm going to have some, taking some photos. Just look at this minaret behind me, man. It's actually the coolest thing I've seen thus far. Qatar keeps surprising me, honestly. The one downside is you have to look for everything, but I don't mind that. It's okay, walk in a little bit. So, now that we've explored, let's get down stairs again. We sent you not, but as a mercy for all creatures. Referring to the Prophet Muhammad, there we go. We believe in the message of Islam as a way of life. We rely upon a spreading good values, noble manners, and respect for others, since Allah the Exalted has honored the children of Adam. Wow, that's a nice message. So, that was nice. Of course, this is a very clean place, and it's very. Oof, it's hot here in Doha, Qatar. So, we just finished in uh, the Fanar Mosque. It was a beautiful mosque. Uh, a little underwhelming, but it's a mosque, so, you know, whatever. I don't know what you call this, parliament building? Um, whatever it is, some kind of government building. Uh, yeah, lush and posh, and everything here is lush and posh. Got all the cars parked here. Now, we're actually heading towards the Corniche now, which is uh, a bit of a walking distance, but it's all right, and look at the Doha skyline in the distance there. That's the Doha skyline right there, as you can see, looking absolutely stunning. So we're heading towards there right now, and uh, we're going to see different things. We're going to see the Museum of Islamic Art. We're going to see, uh, yeah, quite, quite different stuff. So stick with us here. One thing I've obviously noticed is that the cars here are freaking massive and they're expensive as hell. So you have cars that are really expensive there. Now, the ones passing, look at that one. That one at the end right there in the middle. Oh my gosh, man. Yeah, people are rich here. People are rich here. Well, mostly the shapes, I should say, are rich here. So, we're now heading towards the Corniche. We're gonna check out the Corniche. It's going to be a fun one. Guys, we're at the other side. Met with this, the Pearl. Well, Qatar was known as a pearl destination before because they used to dig out pearls and uh, export them so that was their main uh, way of, uh, of you know earning money after that they found oil and uh, this country just boomed so now this is the Corniche we're at the Corniche at the moment and uh, that's the Islamic art or the museum of the Islamic art uh, we're not gonna visit there yet because we want to see all of the Corniche so we'll be heading that way and then we're going around and we'll also experience the Doha skyline. So walk with me. Well, I gotta say, man, this is a beautiful place again, man. What isn't beautiful about Qatar, you know? Everything is beautiful. Well, ladies and gentlemen, 
we are currently at the Corniche of Doha, Qatar and it's beautiful we can see the skyline from here and what the most beautiful part is that Adhan is on right now Guys, I just took off the, <laughs> it's so clean here, like you can walk barefooted. And I literally took off my shoes and I'm walking barefooted right now in the Corniche of Doha. And uh, it's just, because why not, you know? <laughs> it's just so wonderful. <sighs> I'm enjoying every single bit here. I wish we had some water. I hope we'll find some water along the way. Uh, I don't know if we will. But uh, yeah, here's... <laughs> We're both going without any shoes. So we're strolling along here and this you can see palm trees and stuff like that. Uh, so clean here on the Corniche. It's, it's so clean man. And look at the Doha skyline. It looks beautiful as well. We're just taking a stroll along the, uh, the Corniche here. Now I know that there are going to be a lot of stuff here that we're going to be checking out. Uh, along along the Corniche, so I'm really really excited for that as well um, So yeah Now we've arrived at the iconic World Cup uh, Statue here or whatever you call it. That's the World Cup statue uh, Now they're they hosted World Cup 2022, so of course they are very proud of that and who wouldn't be because Just look at this place. It's beautiful. It's wonderful. This is the FIFA World Cup Qatar 2022. Now is all. As you can see. By the way, I'm still I'm still walking without my shoes here. I've been walking all day. There we go. This is it. Now again, this, this place is obviously very clean and um, and this is the skyline again. How much? So guys, we hopped on a Dow boat for about 50 reals here. This boat is all for us, for ourselves exclusively. And we're going to be exploring uh, the, the water side of Doha. This is going to be fun, a little fun little journey. Get the skyline here. So, let's check it out. You can see the water in Doha Qatar is turquoise. So wow. So guys, here we are on top of the goddamn Dow boat. <laughs> Shit, man. 
and that's the skyline right over there. Now this is a view I cannot miss. I have only 9% battery left in my recording device, but shit man, this is wonderful. Wow. All right, it's all captured now. Oh, I just don't, I wanna continue capturing this, bro. We're approaching the Doha skyline. There's another boat right behind us. Man, oh man. There's just so much beauty here. It's just absolutely crazy. I'm going insane, bro. Look at these buildings. Oh my days. I'm actually going insane. I'm going crazy. Look at that, man. Wow, that's all I have to say, this is wow.